Is that a black bear or a grizzly bear? That's a common question people ask when they are in bear country. My name is Lindsay Wallfelt and I'm the Assistant Bear and Cougar Specialist with the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife. In this video, we're going to show you the difference between black bears and grizzly bears. Washington is home to both black bears and grizzly bears. Black bears occur throughout the forested areas of Washington. Meanwhile, grizzly bears only occur in the Selkirk Mountains of Northeast Washington. There are currently no populations in the North Cascades of Washington at this time. Grizzly bears are a federally threatened and state listed endangered species. Killing one either unintentionally or intentionally can bring costly fines and penalties. That is why WDFW administers a bear ID test for hunters. As with other similar looking species, such as whitetail and mule deer, or bobcat and lynx, Washington hunters are responsible for knowing which species is which. And all grizzly bear observations are important to document, especially outside of the places they are known to occur. The most common characteristics that people use to identify are size and color. However, these are not good identifiers of these species. Despite their names, not all black bears are black and not all grizzly bears look grizzled. Black bears are like people. Their hair can be black, brown, blonde, or even reddish and any shade in between. In fact, in Western Washington, approximately 10% of black bears are some shade of brown. And in Eastern Washington, approximately 60% of black bears are brown. The light colored tips of grizzly bears that give them their grizzled or silver tip appearance are also not always present and they can be anywhere from very light blonde to dark brown. Additionally, although grizzly bears are typically larger than black bears, people tend to overestimate size and weight and there can be considerable overlap in the size of bears, especially if they are young. So now we'll talk about which features you can use to distinguish black and grizzly bears. That's the presence of the shoulder hump, the facial profile, the size and shape of the ears, the front claws. And additionally, we will look at tracks and how you can distinguish species using those. The highest point on a black bear's body is the middle of the back or the rear, depending on how they're standing. And they do not have a shoulder hump. Grizzly bears, however, have well-developed shoulder muscles for digging, and this appears as a hump between the front shoulders. A hump is considered the best feature to look for when identifying grizzly bears, but keep in mind that a black bear's shoulder blades may appear as a hump. So familiarize yourself with the hump of a grizzly bear so you can be sure to tell the difference. A black bear's facial profile is relatively straight from the forehead to the tip of the nose. Conversely, a grizzly bear's facial profile is more concave or dish-shaped from between the eyes to the tip of the nose. This can cause a grizzly bear's eyes to appear more deep set with the cone-shaped nose sticking out when looked at from the front. A black bear's ears will appear larger and more pointed compared to a grizzly bear's ears that are gonna appear smaller and more rounded. A bear's claws might be hard to see for obvious reasons, but are a good way to tell the species apart. Black bear's claws are made for climbing trees. They are short, about two inches long, darkly colored and sharply curved. As compared to a grizzly bear's claws, which are made for digging. A grizzly bear's claws are gonna be about two to four inches long, gently curved and usually light in color. When looking at tracks, avoid looking at the hind track as both are large and shaped like that of a human. The front tracks of these bears differ. This is in part due to the length of the claws and the shape of the foot. The black bear's foot is more rounded and if you take a straight edge and hold it across the track of a black bear, just in front of the pad and behind the toe on either side, it will cross the toe on the other side of the foot. A grizzly bear's front foot is more square and a straight edge will not cross the toe on the other side of the foot. 